I can't believe how much all this stuff has grown. Here we have Bernadette taking her afternoon nap. Yeah, I started recording. Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're just gonna be doing a really chill, casual plant updates type of video. I haven't filmed in a long time. I pre-filmed so much stuff that I haven't filmed in like a month. So now I'm out of the habit of it. So I initially sat down to film something a little more involved, and I was just really, it was just not going the way I wanted it to go. So we're gonna do this instead so I can practice filming again. I should really know how by now, I really should. But it's interesting how quickly I get out of the habit of it whenever I take a break. So yeah, I just feel kind of odd in front of the camera. So. Every once in a while I do that. So we're just gonna be walking around and seeing what has changed with my plants. Okay, so this is my little haul from the Joplin plant swap. I went, I, I can't talk. So that was last Saturday, today's Thursday. I was maybe, would you call it a vendor? I had a little, table set up there selling plants, traded a couple of plants, and this is what I ended up with. So this first one is a Syngonium Freckles, and it's a really cool one. I love the splashy, kind of different green colored Syngoniums. So the swap was Saturday, today is Thursday, and we already have some rootage on this one. I really should not have a cup of water in this chair, but you know. And this is a little alocasia dragon scale. It's got a little new leaf coming in. This is a philodendron charonier. This is one I've wanted for a long time and I just love the little ripply leaves and pictures and videos don't do the ripply leaves justice for sure. And here's the oldest leaf on it, so hopefully they'll size up for me really well. I just have it hanging out in my white mills bow here. And then this is a little variegated Hoya polyneura. So I'm really excited to watch this one grow. And there's a little root right here. So yeah, that's what I ended up with from the plant swap. Okay, so I almost forgot to show this, but this is the plant that my husband got from the plant swap. And I was making fun of him because he just got what appeared to be a stick. Hi, May. But it is already growing. So I stuck it in water because it was just in a, like a Ziploc bag with a damp paper towel. But yeah, it's already growing. It's a service berry, I believe. Okay, so the next thing that I did recently, earlier this week, is like rearrange my cabinets. Um, I just kind of let them get a little neglected there for a while. I think I was like, just kind of sucked into the whole flat mite craze and sulfur powder. And I didn't like opening them because they smell, like the longer it sits on the plant, the worse it smells, I feel like. So most of my plants I've washed it off of and I'm not really seeing a problem with a lot of plants. So I'm not gonna go making a problem. So yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna just wash it off of all of these, but yeah, I haven't, I just haven't gotten around to it. So I have this plant hanging in the back. 
And then I have all my Hoyas still on the shelves. And then I recently moved this Anthurium back to this cabinet because it got too big for my other one. And this new leaf is turning out so cool. And I also moved my Jewel Orchid in here. This, this is a really tough plant. Tough as in it can survive me forgetting about it. So I had this in a spot where I could not see it very well, which is a common theme for me. I should know better, but I just don't have, what is it called? Object permanence. So if I don't see something, I don't, I don't have any concept of it. Like it's just not there. So I'm not gonna think, I have a jewel orchid. I wonder where that is. I should take care of it. I just, it's not, it's just not how it works for me. So anyway, I forgot about this. I didn't water it for a number of months and it was fine. It's just, it's just hanging out still. So I put it in here where I can see it because I do really like that plant. I think it's really cool. And then I have my little variegated heart leaf philodendron and this was actually a gift and it is such a pretty one. And then this, if you watched my Equigenera unboxing video, this was the Philodendron Esmeral Dents that I unboxed there. And it's just not growing all that well for me. So I'm probably gonna end up moving that out to the greenhouse, but it looks, it still looks really pretty. It's just not growing, which, you know, that happens sometimes. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I don't think there's anything too wild going on down here. It's just a bunch of plants. Oh, this is a little anthurium seedling and it's starting to actually get some veins, which I'm excited about. And I have this in pond, which I don't like. I don't care for pond. So I, I want to move it to soil. Does it need? Does it, oh God. Good thing May's not in here. She would have eaten that rock. But yeah, my little anthurium seedling. I had two, one of them died. Uh, this one did not. I don't remember what it is though. I don't know if I I'm, I'll, I probably have some kind of information somewhere as to what the heck this thing is, but I'm also kind of reluctant to go look and see what it is because I kind of want to be surprised. I want to just wait and see what it might be. Okay, so I think I've showed this before, but these are just a couple of leaves I had to cut off to propagate a variegated gigantium stem. So yeah, I've had them back here probably for a couple of months and these are my uh, keep me on task plant eyes and they really haven't even started to yellow or anything. They haven't grown any roots obviously, but it's just kind of a nice little bouquet to have back here. Here we have Bernadette taking her afternoon nap. Okay, so here's my other cabinet. I gotta move May's bed. Okay, so I, I did the worst thing I have ever done. Well, maybe not, but I, so my mom got this new bed for May and I got rid of her old bed and thought I could just switch it out and put it in her crate and just put her to bed like I usually do. Well, she didn't, and I should have known that this would not go well, but she did not like it. She just like started screaming after I put her to bed because it's a foreign bed and it's a lot different than her other bed. So I had to take it out and we're gonna have to just slowly adjust her to it. I, I feel so bad though. I hope I didn't traumatize her too badly. Hi, Bernadette. It's 
So I rearranged this one a little bit. This is no longer just a Hoya cabinet. I, this tall space on the bottom shelf was just a little bit too valuable for like taller humidity loving plants. So I had to put some of those back in here. Oh, hello. Hi. Okay, let's see if you can see us. I got on the ground, which this one really, really likes. And I don't show Bernadette very much anymore because she's less clingy than May. But yeah, we do still have Bernadette. She's still a happy little dog. Oh, are you going to try out May's bed? Okay, so back to the plants. I moved my philodendron El Chaco Red in here. And so it was out in kind of open air and it just wasn't growing very quickly. So hopefully being in here, it will, it looks like this thing, it's about to pop out a new leaf. So hopefully it'll appreciate the higher humidity. My philodendron, what is this called? Quellii round has started putting out more new leaves recently. So that is exciting. And I I took a cutting and then it activated a couple of growth points on here. So there are two new leaves. And then this used to be my really big philodendron majestic, but I accidentally underwatered it really badly last summer when it was like super hot like 100 degrees and it got root rot so i ended up no bernadette it ended up getting root rot and this was the base of the plant and i love when you cut back a plant and it activates multiple growth points so that's what happened here and it's way more silvery than it used to be too so that's really cool. So hopefully it enjoys living in this cabinet. And let's see, this is my Hoya clemenciorum. I just cannot <laughs> figure this plant out. It never, I've had it for like a year now. I've gotten two leaves, they're not great. I don't know, we'll see what happens. It is still alive and that's something. Okay, so first things first, we have Gary. Um, he's getting huge. I'm gonna have to find a place to move him. I'm thinking that maybe I wanna move him back toward the, like the peak, but not by the heater somehow. We'll have to see how that goes. But even when I took like a huge cutting, it is still almost at the ceiling like three months later. So yeah, there's where I cut it like right there. And then that is all the new growth. So he just can't be stopped. Oh, but the, the top cutting. So the top cutting I had in my house trying to root it in water and it did not root. I finally just decided to call it what it is this morning because it was just all shriveled up. The leaves were really droopy and it smelled gross and it was just like kind of covered in slime. So I'm just like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it what it is and I'm gonna toss it because it was dropping leaves and I don't need I really don't need another fiddle leaf fig. I have three and they're getting big very rapidly. So I know some of you may not like that, but it's okay not to keep every single cutting or wait for the cutting to completely die. It's been four months and it hasn't rooted for me. So I don't think, I don't think we're gonna get roots. So it is what it is. We're still happy to have Gary back here. He's doing well. And everything over here has just filled in so much. 
it's really cool to see and I can't believe how much all this stuff has grown. Oh, and I finally got a little tiny patch of variegation on my Paraiso Verde. So we'll see if it goes any further or not. I'm guessing probably not. And sorry, Bernadette is barking. I'm gonna see if I can get her to stop. Okay, another little update. I have not mentioned this plant in a really long time. My Anthurium regale, regal, whatever it's called. Um, it dropped all its leaves a while back and it's it was too tall to fit into my cabinets and it wasn't doing great just in regular room conditions. So I brought it out here and we finally have a new little leaf. It is, a tiny bit damaged but that's okay it is still a leaf okay so the next thing I want to show you is maybe gonna be kind of hard to get to but my philodendron billetier get out of the way Jose is blooming oh this thing is gross I don't think it's going to pan out it's like starting to brown this thing is so gross I don't even want to touch it <laughs> Oof. but it's huge and it's really creepy too but I think I'm gonna saw it off but this plant has gotten huge here's <coughs> the newest leaf is kind of facing down oh my gosh that's huge I don't know if I can get far enough away from it to show it. Probably not. We've got a couple of new Jose Bono leaves that are really pretty back there. But yeah, anyway, I was looking at old pictures of the greenhouse like two years ago. Oh, this is my little mushroom CO2 generator thing. We're gonna see how this goes. But yeah, you can kind of see the mycelium in there. But anyway, yeah, I've just been surprised with how much all of this stuff has grown. I didn't really realize it happens gradually enough that you don't necessarily notice it day to day. But then when you take a look back, it's shocking and I mean that that'll happen with your plants in your house too but out here it's just like there was nothing and these plants were babies if I even had them at all so I'll see if I can insert a picture but it's really filled in so much and it's just it's so I don't know I can't even find the right words Okay, so that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I intend to be back with a uh, more like thought out type of video next week. So hopefully I'll see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.